Do you nerd? For movies! <laughs> All right, let's talk the new mutants. So, first and foremost, what did you think? I liked it. it I was thought it fun. was good. It was a very fun movie. Let's face it, I think a lot of us were to the point where, where we did not think this movie was ever coming out. No. All of the, uh, the reshoots, the delays, pushing back, Fox being sold to Disney. Yeah. Um, so I'm glad it came out because it was a lot of fun. Me too. The story was good. I really like the superhero meets horror aspect of it. That was a lot of fun. It was like a haunted house. Yeah, I think that's kind of the nice thing about picking a story that like people really don't know or care about the New Mutants all that much. I mean, I know there are fans out there of it, but it's like it's not a mainstream. So it's like you could kind of pick any story and kind of do what you want with it. Now, I read about, I don't know, 40 or 50 or so of the New Mutants, like from the beginning, the old school ones. I read issue one. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that they did really well with the characters. The characters were spot on. They did. They did an amazing job, I thought. The casting. The casting blew me away. All right. Let's start off with Maisie. You're not a Maisie fan. I do fan. not like Maisie. I have not found anything that she has been in. No offense, Maisie, but I have not found anything in it that you like or that I like that you're in. But I liked you in this one. This one was very good. You had a cute little Scottish accent. Oh, yeah. She was absolutely adorable she in was. this one. She was the perfect casting, in my opinion, because since she is, you know, can change into a wolf or a dog or any kind of thing like that, she has really big, almost anime eyes. <laughs> so, I mean, it was perfect that she had kind of dog-like eyes. Now, I think Anya as Ileana stole the show from Oh my you. gosh, she was, that was the only reason I wanted to see it was because I love magic. Yeah, magic is yeah. a very, very fun character. Um, let's not go into any spoilers, but there was one other thing that you really liked about her, but we'll get to that in just a second. Um, Charlie as uh, Cannonball, he was good, yeah. really yeah. good. You made a funny observation, I, though. That poor kid cannot get out of doing any kind of acting work where he doesn't have <laughs> alternate universes that he can Yeah, do. well, once you get typecast into those <laughs> parallel worlds, why not? But he was really good as Sam. Um, yeah. I, I really liked him. Dr. Reyes, we didn't get a whole lot of her in there. I mean, I thought that she was a good character to, you know, like, move the story on and everything and, and help keep the cast small because she kind of filled in a lot of other roles, I felt. Mm-hmm. Um, but was it, uh, I think his name's like just Henry something, but the guy that played uh, Roberto, he he wasn't too bad. I don't know if I remember Roberto being that uh, uh, douchey in the comics. He was though. I was Like he? I said, I only read the first episode. He wasn't douchey, but he was very horny. Like any chick that would walk in front of him, he was like, oh my gosh, you're hot. You want to get together later? Ooh, let's take your clothes. So, I mean, yeah, he, he was very uh, into women. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. The other thing that I thought was really good were the special effects. They, yeah. they did a nice job with this. They didn't seem CG. No, no. They, uh, they were very grounded when they needed to be. And the rest of the time, I mean, the more fantastical stuff, it really fit in nicely. I really hope this kind of comic book movie picks off or takes off because it was a comic book horror and that was a lot of fun it was really interesting now the only thing that's kind of sad is i'm pretty sure this is going to be the last fox x-men marvel universe film we get which it was supposed to be a trilogy though yes but it's a shame because i really feel like with this with the deadpool movies with uh, some of the stuff since first class and everything, they'd really been coming into their own, kind of finding their ground. And now it's gone, it's over. But hopefully- We'll just have to see what Disney thinks. Yeah, hopefully Disney or Marvel will uh, will integrate them. <laughs> Maybe, we can hope. All right, let's talk about some fun stuff. Let's talk spoilers. So we're talking spoilers. This is the spoiler part, spoilers. Spoil, spoil, spoil. Okay. What was the thing that truly won you over with Ileana? She had Lockheed! Oh, yeah, she but did. But it wasn't a, well, there wasn't at first a CGI dragon. She had a puppet that was Lockheed, and she would talk to it. And so that was a really clever way of getting Lockheed in there. So that I absolutely loved. But then, again, spoilers, at the very end, 
Loki does become real and yeah, she fights with him and that moment. was so awesome. I think one of my other favorite moments for magic was they were telling her, you know, don't go fight him. The bear is magic. And she just turns around and just goes, so am I. It's magic. So am I. Yeah, they, they that put that line so to good awesome. use in the trailers. <laughs> that was a good moment though. Um, honestly, the the biggest spoiler thing that I want to touch on is a lot of these later X-Men movies, and then even the Deadpool movie, or Deadpool 2 at least, were really playing up the whole Essex thing, so yes. Mr. Sinister, and I was really, really hoping we would get some kind of Mr. Sinister tease, uh, even if it was just something real quick and, I was know. thinking, like, maybe it just a, a dark picture where like you just see us his smile or something yeah anything at fun. all it would have been fun you know and knowing that these movies uh, the fox universe is done it kind of would have been just a fun tease in that regard too well i think we did read that there were sinister films or scenes filmed so maybe on the dvd maybe we'll get those i guess we'll have to wait and i hope see. so but yeah, I was a little disappointed that they didn't at least give us that tease. Mr. Sinister is probably one of my favorite villains of all time. And to have given him some kind of appearance on the big screen at last, that would have been great. Now, you picked up on Mr. Sinister right away, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I oh, did not. I, they kept trying to redirect you and make you think that they uh, were going to be heading off to Xavier's school. And I was like, nope, nope. I've read enough Marvel comics, enough X-Men comics to know. No, that's not Now, the, the funny here. thing is, is Dr. Reyes actually had that Mr. Sinister's diamond emblem pin on her I lapel the whole time. That and I didn't, really I didn't cool. pick up on that until I it fell that. off of her. And I was like, oh. <laughs> All right. So in closing, New Mutants, a surprising film. A lot of fun. Great characters. A really good story. You know, just kind of a simple story. Took from the Bear Saga. But they cast it really well everyone did an did, awesome yes. job it was just a lot of fun and it was a great movie to kind of go out on with the fox yeah. marvel cinematic universe it's getting some bad press out there but i don't think you should listen to it i think you should go see it it's a good one it's a good different take on a superhero movie yeah. give it a shot yeah it's, it's comic book horror i never thought i would really enjoy it but yeah comic book horror is great all right and cut